Hi, welcome to lesson three, uh, Scope of State Instructor, uh, Ms. Myers. Uh, thank you all for watching this video about lesson three. Um, such an awesome group, as you know, they are your uh, students, but uh, I always feel very privileged to be teaching this group. It's a really wonderful group, and we always have a great time together. Uh, hopefully, they feel that way too. Um, so I thought by, I would start by just thanking you uh, for uh, allowing me to, like I said, teach Latin to your students because it is a great pleasure uh, to teach to this group. It's a really great group. Um, some highlights of Latin 3. I'm sure many of you are thinking, oh, just a continuation of Latin 2. Yes, it is. So for sure, we are going to um, do some, what do you want to say? Uh, big picture grammar work. So we've learned some like bits and pieces of some really crucial parts of Latin grammar, like the subjunctive um, and I think mainly the subjunctive, but also with infinitives. So we're going to do a lot of sort of, like I said, shoring up some of the grammar that we've learned over the years. But I always like to go back with the students and review, like I said, kind of give them the big picture. So a lot of the first semester of Latin three is big picture grammar. So looking at everything we know about like the subjunctive or about indirect statement or the infinitive in general. So we will spend a part of the year uh, working on that, but it'll be a small portion because a majority of our year beginning in October, uh, hopefully, uh, we're going to be reading native Latin. Uh, some of it will start uh, in our Cambridge Latin textbook. Uh, and so we're gonna, one of the themes of the semester uh, is letters. So we are going to read letters in Latin uh, and write letters as well as part of our integrated performance assessment this year. So we'll be doing a lot of work with the epistolary form. Um, and so, and I think this group will really enjoy uh, reading native Latin always is a challenge, uh, but one that I think everyone always rises to. But just so you know, we will be reading a bit more native Latin again, especially starting in October, and it is a transition. So if students are thinking or saying that Latin is getting harder or it's more challenging or I have to spend more time on it, that's probably really true um, for this year, like I said, especially once we get started uh, with Pliny. Um, and I should also say in the second half of the year, beginning in January, we're going to leave behind our pedagogical like uh, and move into what I call an intermediate reader. And we are going to be reading uh, the poetry of Ovid, uh, namely his Metamorphoses, which are uh, myths uh, told by Ovid, well-known myths for the most part. So I think some of the text will be very familiar to some of the students. Uh, so we'll be reading that, like I said, uh, starting in January and continuing through the end of the year. And hopefully, uh, by the end, things will be a little bit different and we'll be able to take a field trip up to KU uh, to see some manuscripts and to read uh, some inscriptions in Latin that are on campus. So hopefully by time, uh, in time, we'll be able to do those things. Um, meanwhile, I think the highlight of Latin 3 is yeah, reading Latin mythology in Latin from Ovid uh, and uh, categorically uh, my Latin students have enjoyed uh, reading Ovid, and I think this group will really enjoy uh, reading myth in Latin. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, I'm very much looking forward to a wonderful year with this group of students. Uh, if you have any questions about Latin 3, um, just uh, shoot me an email. It's amymyers at seabarryacademy.org. We can also meet uh, via Zoom if you would like a one-on-one. -on -one. And I'm just really looking forward to this year, and I appreciate your time. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks.